Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this fifth day of May, and it's Friday, and today's topic is titled, Watch. Amen. And so before we get started on that, I'd like to greet you as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today. And we're going to sing a little bit about uh, who Jesus is, amen, and uh, the Scripture Song today. And I also wanted to share some uh, exciting news, at least for me anyway. It was a blessing and uh, meant to do it yesterday, but forgot to and got permission to uh, read this book uh, from YWAM uh, Publishing. Got a permission uh, the other day to read this book and other books that they have. And um, as long as I give the information on their um, uh, their information and the author's name and all that stuff, they said I could read it on my podcast. So praise the Lord. And this is um, the book I started the other day. It's uh, Jacob... The Shazer, and this is from the uh, book series Christian Heroes Then and Now uh, by uh, YWAM Publishing, and the author uh, authors of this book is Janet and Jeff Benj, and that's uh, titled Jacob the Shazer, Forgive Your Enemies, and this is uh, the cover of the book there, amen, I know it's backwards on the screen, but you can check that out on my podcast at God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast uh, on Anchor, Spotify, or iHeartRadio. Amen, and then uh, I post them up on uh, um, the Facebook channel, so you can um, get the link there. So, amen. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you, so praise the Lord for that, and that was a blessing. Amen, and now it's uh, time to get into the scripture song singing, and uh, this is from John uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, so press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. All right. John 1. One through four. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Amen. Here we go. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And in Him was life, and the life was the light of man. The Word was God. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those scripture songs again at the end of the broadcast. And now it's time to get into the Baptist bread topic for today, titled Watch. And this is for Friday, May 5th, 2023. And it says here in 2 Timothy 4, 5a, the first uh, part of verse 5, says, But watch thou in all things endure afflictions amen and so the author today is hrp that would be the initials for let's see hrp where are you let's see i'm not seeing their name here why am i not seeing their name hrp okay uh, is there another page here? Nope. All right. Well, I do not know who this is because they did not put uh, their initials here. So HRP. Nope. Uh, there is uh, Randy Pike, but I don't uh, know if that's him or not. And they just accidentally put an H there, but uh, I'm not sure if that's Randy Pike that uh, that is the author today. But um, all right, so it's a mystery. So whoever this author is today, it might have been Randy Pike. And if it is, um, he is um, 
Randy Pike is, uh, let's see, uh, pastor or uh, missionary statesman from Greensville, uh, South Carolina. So it might be him since I'm not finding uh, anybody with the initials HRP. So it could be him. And they, they might have accidentally put an H in there. All right. So anyway, let me uh, read you the rest of this passage here. I'm from Second uh, Timothy. I'll read you the entire passage here. So Second Timothy 4. And read this first before we get into the topic. So Second Timothy uh, 4 and verse 5. So 4, 5. And it says here, um, But watch thou in all things endure afflictions to uh, do uh, the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Is that right? Second Timothy 4, 5. All right, well, that's uh, correct, so amen. So again, uh, but uh, watch thou in all things endure afflictions. That's not the, let's see. Yep, okay, that's the verse. All right, so but watch thou in all things endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of the ministry. Amen. So that's the entire verse, and so we should. And we should go out there and tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. All right, so, um the author today writes here, he says, Hypocrisy and deceit abound in every area of life. Amen. So, uh, hypocrisy and deceit abound in every area of life. Sports, politics, religion, entertainment, medicine, etc. are being used of Satan and his devils to further their plan to hurt and destroy. Mm. Right? Uh, scripture speaks of those who are deceived and being deceived, and it says, see 2 Timothy 3.13. So let's go to that scripture there. 2 Timothy 3.13, and read this. So it says, um, 2 Timothy 3.13 says, <clears throat> all right, let's go back up to, how far do we need to go here? Uh, this is quite a lengthy uh, verse here, so we need to go back uh, up a little further. And see where the sentence starts. So let's go back up to verse 8. And it says, Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. Amen. He cannot deny himself of these things. Put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. So that was uh so that was second Timothy three thirteen and uh read some extra verses there so you can get some context. <clears throat> Amen. Alright, so that was second Timothy three and from uh started back in verse eight and read the verse fourteen so you can get the context there. Alright, so moving on in the um topic it says even within the so called Bible believing churches, often there lurks amid the sheep a deadly uh, Potiphar's wife, and that's Genesis 39, 5 through 10. So you can read that. Or a thieving Judas Iscariot. They give place to the devil in their actions when the door is open. And it says, see Ephesians 4, 27. So let's go there and look at that passage, Ephesians 4, 27. So go to Ephesians and chapter 4 and verse 27. And might have to get some context with this one too. So let's see. Um, so it says uh, in verse 26, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Right? Amen. So don't give place to the devil. So that's that uh, verse, Ephesians 4.27. It says, Sadly, true Christians are left in left to repair the damage caused by sin not dealt with. Hmm, right? Despite these uh, horrors, there are thousands of real believers and uh, church who still receive repentant 
uh, prodigal sons and work hard to pull men off the highway to hell. And that's uh, Jude uh, verses 22 through 23. So let's go there. And speaking of Jude, uh, Brother James, uh, my pastor, wrote uh, a commentary on the book of Jude. So you can check that out. And I'll give you the uh, web address here in a few minutes. So let's go to Jude. And uh, verses 20, what was it? Uh, verses 22 through 23. It says, in verses 22 through 20, 23, it says, And if some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Amen. So that was Jude, verses 22 to 23. And uh, continue on in the. Um, in the devotional, it says, uh, lastly, uh, the author writes, I must stress that the best way to walk to heaven is on your knees, right, in prayer. And, of course, we can't always be on our knees when we're praying, but should always be praying without ceasing. So, again, he says, lastly, I must stress that the best way to walk to heaven is on your knees, being totally paralyzed in both legs for uh, 70 years. I cannot bow into a, a kneeling uh, prayer posture, he says. But prayer is first a heart thing, not a knee thing, right? So it's a heart thing, and not everybody can get on their knees. Like he said, that he can't do it, but he can still pray. Amen? And he says, when praying, just tell your silly uh, wandering uh, mind to shut up because your heart is talking to God. Amen? <laughs> so let's tell our silly mind to shut up because our heart is talking to God. Wonderfully, you will find yourself in prayer without ceasing. First Thess Thessalonians 5.17 Amid continual prayer, do what you can for Christ and others. Amen. So little seeds of Christian love packaged in the saving gospel like a true missionary. And that's Isaiah 32.20. So let's look at that passage there. Isaiah 32. Go back here to Isaiah chapter 32. And verse 20, I think he said. So let's see, verse 20. Uh, make sure that's right. So uh, Isaiah 32, 20. It says, uh, Blessed are ye that sow beside all waters that send forth thither the feet of the ox and the axe ass. So that's that verse. I hope that was the right verse. hope it wasn't a typo. It doesn't make any sense, but... Um, maybe so. All right, so that was uh, the passage there, Isaiah 32, 20. And uh, moving on, as we conclude this uh, topic here, uh, it says, God checks out his billions of little sparrows each day and sees every divine seen, uh, seed sown. And the passage is Matthew 10, 29 through 31. So let's look at that passage. So Matthew uh, chapter 10. So Matthew chapter 10. And... Verses uh, 29 through 31. Alright, so 29 through 31. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Amen. So, praise the Lord. Alright, good topic, uh, today on watching and praying amen so praise the lord and if you're just joining I encourage you to go back and listen to that in its entirety pretty good topic from the baptist bread and now I'll grab the daily strength book as we continue on this topic of discretion for this week and this is uh titled daily strength volume one devotions for bible believing study by douglas d stoffer and andrew b ray and we are continuing on the topic of discretion, and today is Friday, day 90, and we're going to be talking about Joseph, a man discreet and wise, and reading from Genesis 41, verses 33, all the way to verse 40, and it says here in Genesis 40, 41, 33, Now therefore let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise, so now Therefore let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenteous years. 
and let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities and that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine which shall be in the land of Egypt that the land perish not through the famine and the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants and Pharaoh said unto his servants can we find such a one as this is a man who in whom the Spirit of God is and Pharaoh said unto Joseph for as much as God hath showed thee all this there is none so discreet and wise as thou art thou shalt be over my house and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled only in the th uh, throne will I be greater than thou so amen that's uh, him talking about uh, this uh, dream that uh, Pharaoh had all right introductory thoughts it says Joseph went through so many trials and tribulations that at times he must have questioned if he had been forsaken of God our passage picks up the story with Joseph unjustly imprisoned Pharaoh had a dream and called the wise men of the land together for the interpretation all of Egypt's wise men could not interpret the dream but Joseph could God revealed to Joseph the impending famine with detailed information on how to prepare for it. He instructed Pharaoh on how to gather during the time of plenty to prepare for the famine. These guidelines would uh, all allow Egypt to survive and even increase throughout the period of famine. Joseph also counseled Pharaoh to set a man over the land of Egypt who was discreet and wise Pharaoh told his servants that Joseph was the only one who could adequately do the task because he was a man in whom the Spirit of God resided. Joseph's acts of discretion not only led Egypt through the famine, but also provided for Joseph's family when they too would come to Egypt in need of food. And it says, see Genesis chapter 42. So, encourage you to go read that on your own time Genesis chapter 42 about that uh, um, incident there amen all right so now we got devotional thoughts and the first is for children it says God wants us to always think of ways we can help others sometimes simple things are most helpful how would taking off your muddy shoes at the door help mom how would getting your toys out of the driveway help dad how could you help if a younger child was crying or needed help to get a drink of water. Hmm. And now I have for everyone, devotional thoughts for everyone. It says, who gave Joseph both wisdom and discretion? That would be God. Uh, does God want to give you both wisdom and discretion? Of course he does. Are you willing to ask the Lord for help? Uh, James 1.5 says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Amen. Who, re uh, who received the benefits from Joseph's uh, discretion? Who might receive benefit if you were discreet in your decisions? Are you concerned about those around you enough to live with discretion? Hmm. Good uh, questions there. All right, now we got prayer thoughts. And the first one says, Ask God to show you the effect your choices have on others. Ask God to give you wisdom to make the right choices in life. And today's uh, hymn from the book will be titled Soldiers of Christ Arise. So that will be the special hymn for today after the regular hymn from the hymn book. And uh, this is a good hymn if, um, if I'm thinking of the right one. Amen. So Soldiers of Christ Arise. So we'll sing that hymn along with the regular uh, hymn from the hymn book. Amen. So let's go ahead and do this right now. So we'll do the... This one here, and then, all right, so put that there, and grab the hymn book. And this is uh, the first one from page 364 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, and it's titled, Come, Sinner, Come. And this is uh, another invitation to Salvation Hymn, a spiritual song written by <clears throat> William E. Witter, 1853 to Unknown, and then Horatio R. Palmer, 1834 to 1907 so do the 
uh, instrumental here and see if it's easy to sing along with. And uh, if not, I'll re read you the stanzas and then read you the story and then give you the references. And then we'll move on to the second hymn. So here we go. Let's just listen to it first. Let's see how it sounds. how it sounds if you were to sing it, so I'm not even going to try that. It sounds a little challenging, so I'll read the stanzas, and you can go uh, look that up and try to sing it on your own time with the instrumental. And so, again, this is titled Come, Sinner, Come, and this is hymn 364 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, and it says here in stanza one, while Jesus whispers to you, come, sinner, come, while we are praying for you, come, sinner, come. Now is the time to own him. Come, sinner, come. Now is the time to know him. Come, sinner, come. Are you too heavy laden? Come, sinner, come. Jesus will bear your burden. Come, sinner, come. Jesus will not deceive you. Come, sinner, come. Jesus can now redeem you. Come, sinner, come. Oh, hear his tender plea pleading. Come, sinner, come. Come and receive the blessing. Come, sinner, come. While Jesus whispers to you, Come, sinner, come. While we are praying for you, Come, sinner, come. Amen. So that is the hymn. And the story down here at the bottom says, of William Ellsworth, uh, Witter, ninth generation descendant of William Witter, Baptist uh, suffer for conscience sake, penned these lines in his hometown of Covington, New York. He later served as a Baptist missionary in India, uh, translating hymns and founding a remote mission uh, station amidst a savage tribe in the uh, Naga Hills, N-A-G-A, -A, Naga Hills. And if you're from India, uh, you might know where that's at. Uh, the message of this hymn was the the theme of his ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, interesting uh, uh, little story there about this man. And uh, so now I'll give you the references here. So, the first uh, stanza has Matthew eleven twenty eight, Second 2 Corinthians 6, 2. And then stanza uh, 2 is John 6, uh, 37. And Hebrews 9, 28. So, that's all the references there are for this hymn. And now, a second, let me jump all the way towards the back of the book. And now we'll do Soldiers of Christ Arise. And this has eight stanzas here. So, uh, amen. Let me uh, find the tune to this one really quick. And then we'll get started here. So, all right. Let me type this in here. Soldiers of the cross arise him. There we go. And let's see. All right. Let me turn this down for a minute because there's always commercials. You know. All right. Hold on just one second. <sighs> Might have to restart this a couple times because there is a lot of uh, stanzas to this. So let me press pause here for a minute and turn this back up. All right, put that aside there and let me give you who the authors are or the hymn writers are for this one. So this is uh, hymn 729 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And it's uh, the spiritual warfare of the saint. A spiritual song titled Sol Soldiers of Christ Arise, written by Charles Wesley, 
1707 to 1788, and attributed to George F. Handel, 1685 to 1759, from the Harmon uh, Harmon Harmonla uh, Sacra, uh, 1816. So, <clears throat> all right, so this is a um, lengthy uh, uh, hymn here with eight uh, stanzas. So let's get started here, and might have to sing some of these acapella, or start this over. So here we go. Get the tune here. Oh no, this isn't the. That's not the right one. All right, so that's not the right one. It's uh, Soldiers of the Cross. I was looking for Soldiers of Christ, not the Cross. Sorry about that. Soldiers of Christ arise, not the Cross. So Soldiers of Christ. There we go. So. Alright, I had the wrong one. Let's try this again. Alright, Soldiers of Christ arise. Let's see here. Find a one that's kind of lengthy. So let's see. Turn this down for a minute. All right. Okay, I think I know the tune to this one, so here we go. And uh, this should be the right one. Soldiers of Christ, arise and put your armor on. Strong in the strength which God supplies through His eternal Son. Strong in the Lord of hosts and in His mighty power. Who in the strength of Jesus trust is more than conqueror. And then in his great might, with all his strength endued, and take to arm you for the fight, the panoply of God, that having all things done, and all your conflicts past, Ye may or come through Christ alone and stand entire at last. Stand then against your foes in close and firm array. Legions of wily friends opposed throughout the evil day. But meet the sons of night, but mock their vain design. Armed in the arms of heavenly light, of righteousness divine. Leave no unguarded place, no weakness of the soul. Take every virtue, every grace, and fortify the whole. In this absolutely join, to battle all proceed. But arm yourselves with all the mind that was in Christ your head. Let truth the girdle be that binds your armor on in faithful, firm sincerity to Jesus. Christ.
cleave alone. Let faith and love combine to guard your valiant breast. The plague be righteousness divine, imputed and impressed. Still let your feet be shod, ready his will to do. Ready in all the ways of God his glory to pursue. Ruin is spread beneath the gospel grieves put on and save through all the snares of death to life eternal run but above all lay hold on faith victorious shield armed with the ad the sir Sir, a tea to Jesus, Clee alone. Uh, wait, no, I messed up. All right, so you understand. I'm going to read the rest of these uh, to you without singing it because uh, um, it is a little bit of a challenging um, hymn there, but uh, it is a good hymn, but you get the idea of how it sounds, so I'll just read you the rest of these um, without, the, without singing them. So I apologize about that, but uh, amen. I wanted to sing it to you, but... Uh, just uh, having some uh, struggle here with keeping with the tune, so I will just read you the rest of the stanzas. So starting with uh, stanza four, it says, um, let's see, uh, but above all, lay hold on faith's victorious shield, armed with the uh, ad um, adamant and gold, be sure to win the field. If faith surround your heart, Satan shall be subdued. Repelled his every fiery dart and quenched with Jesus' blood. Jesus hath died for you. What can his love withstand? Believe, hold fast your shield, and who shall pluck you from his hand? Believe that Jesus reigns, all power to him is given. Believe till freed from sins remains, till faith is sight in heaven. Stanza 5 says your rock can never shake hither he saith come up the helmet of salvation take the confidence of hope hope for his perfect love hope for his uh, people's rest hope to sit down with christ above and share the blessed feast uh, brandish in faith till then the spirit's two-edged sword hew all the snares of Fiends and men in uh, pieces with the word. Tis written, this applied baffles their strength and art. Spirit and soul with this divide, and joints and marrow part. Stanza 6. To keep your armor bright, attend with constant care, still walking in your captain's sight, and watching unto prayer. Ready for all alarms, steadfastly set your face, and always exercise your arms, and use your every grace. Pray without ceasing, pray your captain gives the word, his summons cheerfully obey, and call upon the Lord. To God your every want, in instant prayer display, pray always, pray and never faint, pray without ceasing, Pray. Stanza 7. In fellowship alone, to God with faith draw near, approach his courts, besiege his throne, with all the power of prayer, go to his temple, go nor from his altar move, let every house worship know, and every heart his love, to God your spirit's uh, dart, uh, your soul in words declare. Or groan to him who reads the heart, the utter terrible prayer. His mercy now implore, and now show forth his praise. In shouts or silent awe, adore his miracles of grace. Stanza 8. Pour out your souls to God, and bow them with your knees. And spread your hearts and hands abroad, and pray for Sion's peace. Your guides and brethren, 
be the bear forever on your mind. Extend the arms of mighty prayer in grasping all mankind. From strength to strength go on, wrestle and fight and pray. Tread all the powers of darkness down and wet win the well-fought day. Still lead, or excuse me, still let the spirit cry and all his soldiers come till Christ the Lord descends from high and takes the conquerors home. Amen. So that is the hymn. And again, I apologize for messing up there on the hymn there as I was trying to sing it. But uh, amen, still a good hymn. And now the story down here at the bottom, it says uh, Charles Wesley penned uh, three times as a variation of the passage from Ephesians 6. It originally appeared as a poem under the heading The Whole Armor of God in Hymns and Sacred Poems, 1749. And now let me give you all the references here. And it looks like a lot of these are in Ephesians or for the... Uh, some of these, so we've got stanza 1 is Ephesians 6.11, 2 Timothy 2.1, Romans 8.37, and Psalms 140, verse 7, Ephesians 6.13, and then 2 Timothy 2.3, and then stanza 2, we have Ephesians 6.13, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.5, 5, John 8.12, Ephesians 4.27, 2 Peter 3.18, and 1 Peter 4, 1. For stanza 3, we have Ephesians 6, 14, and then 1 Thessalonians 5, 8, and then Ephesians 6, 14 again, and then Ephesians 6, 15, and then Proverbs 14, 27, and then 1 Timothy 6, 12. Stanza 4 is Ephesians 6, 16, uh, 1 Corinthians 16, 13, uh, Ephesians 6, 16 again, and then Romans 8, 38 through 39. John 10, 28, and then Romans 6, 22. Stanza 5 is Ephesians 6, 17, and then Romans 5, 5, and then Hebrews 4, 9, and then we got uh, stanza 5 is Hebrews 4, 12, and then Luke 4, 4, and then uh, Hebrews 4, 12. Stanza 6 is Colossians uh, 1, 10, uh, 1 Peter 4, 7, and then 1 Timothy 4, 7. And then we got um, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. And then 1 Peter 5, 7. And then Ephesians 6, 18. Stanza 7 is Hebrews uh, 7, 19. Uh, Hebrews 10, 19. Psalm 150, verse 6. Romans 8, 26. Psalm 139, 4. And Psalm 9, 1. And then finally, stanza 8. Is Psalm 42 4, uh, Psalm 122 6, 1 Timothy 2 8, and Ephesians 6 12, and 1 uh, Corinthians 9 24, and 1 Thessalonians 4 16. And huh, a lot of references there for each stanza. So amen. All right, so that was Soldiers of Christ Arise. Amen. All right, so now we'll put this back to the one for tomorrow. And put that aside. And now it's time to sing the scripture songs one more time before we wrap it up for today. So here we go. We'll do yesterday's and then today's. So grab the remote here. Oop. And it turned off on me. So hold on just a momento. I like the tune. Too bad I couldn't sing it all for you, but uh, amen. All right, so let's go back to yesterday's, which was the fourth, and press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Psalms 27, 8. When, when thou, thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart sent unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Amen. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I see. When thou sayest, 
seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Amen. All right, now conclusion with today is John 1. One through four. That's right. In the beginning was the Amen. Word. Amen. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. That's right. In Him was life. And the life was the light of man. Praise the Lord. All right, here we go. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the Word was God. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. So that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist Bread and the Daily Strength of Books and then the hymn for tomorrow. And so tomorrow will be uh, the 6th of May. And it'll be Psalms seventy-three twenty-eight. It says, But it is good for me to draw near to God. Amen. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. So it is good to draw near to God and put our trust in the Lord God. Amen. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's Baptist bread topic is going to be titled, uh, When Are You Going to Start? Hmm, that's a good question. When are you going to start? And then the passage is Matthew 20, verse 6. And so that will be tomorrow's topic from the Baptist bread. And then the daily strength topic as we continue on this uh, weekly topic of discretion. And this will be, um, tomorrow will be Saturday, day 91. And this will be the last one for this week. And then we'll move into a new topic for next week titled Endurance. So this is the last one for this week on Discretion. And day 91, Saturday, is the title of Discretion Shall Preserve Thee. And we got Proverbs 10, or 2.10 uh, through, so Proverbs 2.10 through all the way through uh, verse 22. So lengthy uh, passage here. So Proverbs 2.10 all the way to verse 22 for tomorrow as we conclude this topic on discretion. And let's see what the hymn is for tomorrow. Let's see if... Uh, all right, this is a good one. Be thou my vision. So that will be the special one for tomorrow. Amen. And uh, I should be able to sing that one pretty well because I knew that one... Uh, pretty good, so amen, and uh, should go better than the one I was trying to sing today, on uh, Soldiers of Christ Arise, amen, all right, so that is the daily strength uh, topic for tomorrow, as we conclude this week on discretion, and then uh, the hymn from the hymn book is titled, Whosoever Will, and this is another good one, and this is hymn 365, another invitation to salvation hymn, and so whosoever will, Amen. And then Be Thou My Vision. So two good hymns for tomorrow. Amen. And if you want to get a copy of the hymn book and then the Daily Strength uh, devotional uh, books, they're uh, volume 1 through 4. And then the hymn book is available on MelodyPublications.com. That's where you can order those if you want to get a copy of uh, those books. And then there's some other uh, stuff on those uh, on that website there, some other stuff you can order. I think some CDs and uh, some other things. So amen. All right, so that's uh, that information for those two books. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs are available on www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website. They're uh, missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana, in South America. So pray for them. 
And then the Baptist Bread devotional book. This is the cover for this month and next month. So if you get a subscription going now, you'll probably get this one. Uh, amen. And so that's uh, that. And the uh, website is uh, www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. Amen. That's where you can uh, uh, get uh, um, that there. So, uh, amen. And then um, the uh, book that I told you about earlier that I'll be reading on my podcast that I started the other day is uh, Jacob DeShazer, uh, Forgive Your Enemies by Janet and Jeff Binge. And uh, that's on my uh, podcast at God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast. And you can check out the other books I've read so far on other uh, heroes of the faith and uh, missionaries. Amen. And uh, if you want to get a copy of this book, it's uh, available on www.ywampublishing.com. Uh, amen. So that's how you can get a copy of that book by going to their website. And amen. So Jacob DeShazer is the one book I'm going through right now. And it's from their uh, series of books, uh, Christian Heroes, Then and Now. So amen. And then, of course, the Bible is the first book we should always be getting into and reading it and studying it and praying to the Lord that he would uh, show us what uh, he wants us to see as we're reading his uh, word and letting it get rooted deep into our hearts and minds and souls. So amen. All right. Well, and if you know somebody who doesn't have... Uh, uh, Facebook, you can direct them to the YouTube channel by going to Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Devotional uh, Broadcast and look me up that way and uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell and the like button and leave a comment if you want to. So amen. And let me know if you uh, got a blessing out of uh, these devotionals. Amen. So whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, uh, praise the Lord. And live or pre-recorded, uh, welcome. And I uh, encourage you to go back and listen to this in its entirety. And I hope it will be uh, something in there that you can take from uh, these broadcasts. So, amen. All right. So, that will be it for today. So, thanks for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.